Kevin Miles, also popularly called Kevin Mims, is an American actor best known as the new Jake from State Farm, the iconic television commercial. Before getting internationally famous, he had appeared in several films like Innocent, shot in 2010, and Lap Dance, made in 2014. He also acted in a few TV shows like SWAT in 2017 and Criminal Minds in 2020. We have curated the most significant facts about this actor just for you. Learn about his net worth and several other details in this video. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? What are you waiting for? Tap on the subscribe button and touch the bell icon to get a notification for the next time we drop one of our interesting videos. Kevin Mims was born on the 5th of July 1990 in Southside Chicago, Illinois, United States of America, and his real name is Kevin Miles. Although details about his family are not readily available, as of the year 2020, his parents were still alive and he also has a sister, about whom not much is known. It appears that his parents were not married or were married and are now divorced because in the Father's Day message, he called his father a single parent. After his high school graduation in 2004, Kevin went on to the Chicago Academy for Dramatic Arts where he got his first formal training as an actor. Then he earned a Bachelor of Fine Art degree from Webster University. For the people wondering where the name Mims comes from, let's give you a hint on that. When he started his acting career in 2010, this was the name he started with. Additionally, he performed as DJ Kevin Mims on more than a few occasions in college. Let's take a look at his career from the early days. As a child, Kevin always had a passion for acting. He even participated in school stage plays such as Romeo and Juliet, in which he played Lord Capulet. Man, probably a lot cheaper, probably a lot more money. <laughs> he got you to use baby wipes! Since then, he's kept at his passion, seeking acting opportunities. Kevin started working for Extra Bucks while he was in college. As we already mentioned above, he got into performing gigs at parties and used the name DJ Kevin Mims. And this was how the name came to life, and it has talked with him ever since. While there's not much to say about his days as a college disc jockey, he made it into the Webster Journal in April 2011. The article revealed that he was quite the solid disc spinner and won the contest to open the event Girl Talk. It appears that after he graduated from college, he dropped the music line of business to focus more on acting. While still a student, Kevin got the opportunity to act in a 2010 action crime drama titled Innocent. He is credited as Kevin Miles, and he plays a character named Kevin Mims. Aram Rappaport directed the film, and it is based on a true incident. It is also known as Helix. One notable thing about the film is what IMDb's summary says about it. Told in real time, Helix is America's first action crime drama ever to be shot in one continuous take without any edits. After that outing, Kevin didn't get cast for any other movie roles for another four years. During this time, he moved to Los Angeles in search of a job. He couldn't get an apartment because he was broke and he had to sleep in an old car that his mother had helped him buy. Then he played a small part in Lap Dance. A 2014 drama film directed by Greg Carter in which he played a character named Memes again. In 2017, he got an uncredited role in the first season of the American action drama television series SWAT. He also played Dan Montgomery in Episode 7, Rusty, of the Criminal Minds TV series Season 15, which aired on the 5th of February 2020. Now let's talk about how Kevin Miles became Jake from State Farm. Rogers, right? You know, State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Really? Is that so? All right. Remember. He had attended an audition for the role, but the chief marketing officer of State Farm, Rand Harbert, initially did not pick him. However, Harbert's wife saw the actor's callback sheet and chose him. This led him to replace Jake Stone, the original Jake from State Farm, in 2019. This is how he came to be the face behind the Super Bowl commercial from State Farm Insurance as Jake from State Farm. This? It's Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? As expected, the act made people wonder why the company changed the original Jake from State Farm to a black guy. Let's explain the reason behind that. Jake Stone, the original star of the commercial, was a real State Farm employee who began appearing in the popular commercial in 2011 until 2019. He also appeared as Miles' office colleague in his first commercial for the company. 
State Farm changed Jake Stone because they needed someone who is more of an actor and will serve as a spokesperson for the company. It seemed fitting for Kevin Miles to take up the role. State Farm Assistant Vice President of Marketing Patty Morris explained that the new role would be too demanding for someone with a day job like Stone. Additionally, the original Jake from State Farm actor already quit the company back in 2012, and it only made sense that his stint in the popular commercial comes to an end. State Farm is not the only company that has worked with Kevin Mims. He has done commercials for brands such as Coors Light, Panera Bread, Henry's Hard Sparkling Water, T-Mobile, Hyundai, McDonald's, eBay, Taco Bell, and Bose. Since his big break on the State Farm commercial, Miles has appeared alongside superstars like Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, and Drake. His net worth is estimated to be about $1.2 million as of 2021. There are speculations that he earns about $1 million a year as Jake from State Farm. To understand why this may not be as outrageous as it sounds, consider the net worth of State Farm. In 2019, State Farm made $79.3 billion in revenue. This means that the insurance company can afford huge media budgets to pay Mims, Drake, and other actors starring in their commercials. Outside his life as Jake, Kevin Mims has hinted at having a partner but has never revealed their identity. In an interview with Chicago Tribune, when asked about his family, he said, Jake definitely has a family. I'm sure one day we'll bring it to light. I think those would be some fun spots, but it definitely is not official. At the time of making this video, we do not know who Mims' lover is. His Instagram page does not provide a clue as he only posts about himself and other stars that he's working with. Whether you know him as Kevin Mims or by his real name Kevin Miles, what is important is that you know his story. He has practically gone from living in his car to earning seven figures in a couple of years. He calls himself Mr. Big Dreams on his social media page, and this is likely why he is where he is today. Mims kept his dream of becoming a professional actor alive and kept working towards the goal despite the challenges. As Jake from State Farm, he has managed to break beyond the barricade of rising star and has now featured alongside other superstars that he once looked up to. Appearing in Criminal Minds is only the beginning for Kevin, who has his sights set on bigger acting roles in the near future. I'm Drake from State Farm. Like, like a, a good neighbor. neighbor. Like, like a, a good neighbor. neighbor. Stand-ins don't have lines. Oh, okay. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Wow, Tommy. That sounds absolutely ridiculous, Tommy. That sounds like some masterful plan that the Joker would create. Oh my god, I'm like Joker level fucking. Are there some quick facts you feel like we missed? Please let us know in the comment section below and check out this other recent clip from Cytomex Entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.